Everybody loves a boiga. Today we're gonna make three special burgers from three special people. These are super famous chefs that everybody's come to know over the past couple of decades. Each one of these people has their own special way of making a burger. So we're gonna make each one, then we're gonna compare them side by side to see who is the burger baron. All right, let's start with my guy, Guy, because uh, it's the most involved. All right, so Guy's burger includes the SMD. Uh, <laughs> No, S -M -S -M -C, Super Melty Cheese Sauce. He's always gotta do an acronym, we love him for it. So we got a lot of stuff going on here, bunch of different cheeses, cheddar, provolone, smoked gouda, that's good old American, and this is Velveeta. We're essentially just gonna add some half and half to a pan, add everything in, nice and slow so the sauce doesn't split, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That rhymed. A little Worcestershire and McDerber, butchering the English language one day at a time. Hot sauce, Tabasco. Just a little bit. And then to start off, we're gonna add our processed cheese. <laughs> Look at that, that is a thing of beauty. Just some Velveeta. Gosh bless America. That'll just dissolve right into our cream. All right, Velveeta's melted. We're gonna add our other stuff. We got our Chetty. Provolone. Smoked Gouda. Of course, our Americano. And then I'm gonna do a little pinch of salt here. That's pretty much that. It's gonna start to melt. Look how much cheese sauce that is. This is enough for 700 burgers. <laughs> Guys always gotta do it big. Oh yeah. So in the video that I watched Guy do this, it was a little lumpy, kinda like this. So I think it'll continue to melt. We are gonna let it cool a bit so it's easier to put on our burgers. I'm gonna cut the heat. And this is our SMD sauce. <laughs> Super melty chest. All right, next donkey sauce. He calls it that because if you don't eat it, you're a jackass. We're just gonna mix everything in this little jar. Isn't that nifty? Got some mayonnaise, roasted garlic, a little bit of yellow mustard. He loves McWorcester Sherman, so a little dash of that. Some crack of bait, and of course, some kosher salt. Nice, perfect. Donkey sauce, also known as roasted garlic aioli. Pretty good. Boy, good time. All right, we got some ground brisket and some ground chuck. Guy likes to do smash burgers, so that's what we're doing here. But um, it's about to get real smoky in here. I gotta turn my hood vent on. Hopefully it's not too loud. <laughs> it's pretty loud. <laughs> we can work with that, we can work with that. I gotta weigh it down with something. Apartment probs. Smash boigas. Let's do this. Gotta get this nice and hot. Smashy, smashy. Six ounce patty here. Gonna pop that in. Jumbo spatch. So he does about like a quarter inch thickness. Let's see where we're at here. And maybe a little more. That looks about right. A little bit of salt. We're all gonna smell like beef. Let's give her a flip. All right, looking nice. All right, so once we get to about this point, we're gonna pop on our cheese and do the classic steam trick. What is that? Take a little bit of water, pour it on the hot thing, trap the boiga. That'll melt the cheese perfectly. Like a nice burger, huh? <clears throat> All right, next up is Jamie Oliver, the naked chef from the UK. You know him, you might love him, you might not, but we're gonna make his burger, uh, which is a little different than the other ones we've been doing. Same thing, brisket chuck. I just had a lot of extra brisket, so that's what I ground up. Now we're gonna mix things together here. He calls this one the Kraken Burger, uh, quite literally because we're gonna put crackers in it. So, in good they go. You grind those nice and good like. Okay. It's almost like we're making meatballs here. A little bit of Dijon. Chopped parsley. Un egg. Pepper. I'm not sure I agree with this, but remember, I'm literally following this to a T. We're gonna put salt in the burger mix, which tends to toughen the burger up. Kind of a no-no, but you know what? Today it's a yes-yes. And we're just gonna mix this all up until it's nice and homogenous. Totally looks like meatball. 
All right, so this is just 500 grams of meat and it's gonna make six burgers. So they're gonna be small, almost more like sliders. Divide it up into six pieces. Just kind of eyeballing it, gonna ball these up. All right, same pan, ripping hot. It's gonna pop our little burgies in. These have so much fat in them, we don't need to add more fat to this pan. A cracking burger. All right, we're gonna flip these boys. Flipping once. Those look nice. All right, these need to finish cooking a little more because they're a little thicker, so we're gonna steam them a bit. These are probably good. Take them off. Mr. Oliver's burger. Last but certainly not least, Papa G, Gordon Ramsay, a British guy making burgers, just like our last guy. He prefers the classic, I'm gonna call it more of a steakhouse style burger. It's not smashy, it's not extra mondo. It's kind of just, you know, what you'd imagine a regular burger being. So, let's do it. All right, so even though we got a lot of fat in there, he likes to add a drizzle of oil. We're gonna do two at once here. Boom, boom. Season it. Season those, every step of the way. Gonna flatten them down a bit. Get a nice surface area. All right, so now we are going to put in our onions here and start caramelizing them, as he says. Onions in, season, again, season. Butter in. Check out our burgers. Gordon insists that we flip once. It's got a nice crust on it. And again, what do we do? Season. And if we can, we're going to baste with our tiny amount of butter. <laughs> Tell you what, this one already smells the best. Wins the smell trophy. Smell trophy right there. A little smell trophy we got right there. A little shiny smell trophy. He's winning that, that's Gordy's. All right, chest, a little cheddar, plop that on there. Remember to finish them up. These burgers are a little thicker. We're gonna melt that cheese by popping our lid on. See where we're at? Oh yeah, perfect. All right, we have all of our beautiful different styles of burgers cooked off and ready to go. It is TTB, time to build. So let's start with Guy's Burger because that's where we began this journey. Coast to coast, as Guy says. Burger should be completely covered. Couple of pickles on the bottom there. Some thin onions. Our thin patty. Some of that D sauce, look at that. Yup, just a little bit on there. And I was supposed to put this under the cheese when we were cooking the burger, but this will do just fine. I mean, look how nice that's spreading. Then he piles on the shreddice, the shredded iceberg lettuce, like a ridiculous amount, like that. <laughs> and a thin sliced tomato, right on top there. And that is the guy burger. All right, next up, Jamie's Berg. Iceberg lettuce, our burger, some onions, a thick Roma tomato, and this is where it gets a little interesting too, a gherkin or three. Not regular pickles, these are like the French cornichons gherkins, and literally nothing else. That is the Jamie Oliver Burger. I don't mean to do you dirty, man. It's on your website. This is what it looks like in the video. Matter of fact, it looks a little better. All right, last but not least, Papa G. Let's see what Gordy's got. Starting with a brioche bun. Mayonnaise on the bottom, Dijon on the top. Coast to coast, edge to edge. A little bit of butter lettuce. 
And remember, we are going to season. Then we have our tomato, the all-important pickles. Season. Top it with our patty and some of those beautiful onions that we made earlier. A little cheese sauce never hurt no one. And that is the Gordy Special. Which do we start with? I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna have to start with the one that I think is going to be the worst, which is definitely this one. <laughs> but who knows, it could be surprised. So this is the Jamie Burger, thicker sliced stuff, no mustard, no mayonnaise, uh, you know, get the cat hair out of it, I need it. <laughs> this is a burger that you would definitely get at like the cafeteria in high school. Maybe it's like a mixture of the iceberg lettuce and just like the big chunky tomato. Oh, and of course the bun. Just a no frills white bread bun. There's something nostalgic about this. Is it an amazing burger? No, so cool. And I mean, bad sign. I didn't even have to use a paper towel to eat it. This next one, I definitely will. We're gonna go for a guy's burger. Look at that thing. Jesus. It's got that cheese sauce on it, the shredded lettuce, which I love. Big tomato. You got that donkey sauce and that smash burger patty. All right, I'm gonna just set up here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. That smoked Gouda and that cheese sauce is just right there up front and it gets smacks you in the face with it. The sauciness kind of clinging to that iceberg lettuce mixed with the, again, that big cooling tomato and the pickles on the bottom. Yeah, the burger's nice and crispy too. Man, this is really good. I, I just need to, I need to hit this one more time. Mm. My guy. That'd be a nice burg. Last but certainly not least, the king of internet cooking videos and just, you know, cooking in general, Gordon Ramsay. We juicing already, I haven't even taken a bite. <laughs> Look how compact and beautiful that looks. It's almost, that should be in like a magazine. Gordy, let's see what you got. Mm. Listen, I love a smash burger, but can we go back to the burgers of our youth where they're just bigger and meatier? Kind of like this one, super satisfying and big, chunky and thick. I think this burger checks all those boxes that I just said. And the caramelized onions are very nice. I also really like the cheddar cheese on it. Dijon mustard, I mean like, look, with a burger, you're gonna mostly be getting regular yellow mustard, but the Dijon is a nice touch. You can tell he's in Europe. Actually, I think he lives in LA, but yeah. <laughs> okay, we've taken bites of all of our burgers here. Now it is time to rate them from worst to best. Coming up in last place and third place, you probably already know the answer. Jamie Oliver's burger. This is kind of a little bit sad. It reminds me of like you go to that cookout and the uncle who doesn't know what he's doing just kind of like throws a ball of beef on the grill and it's a sad dad burger really is what it is. So, uh, sorry, but yeah, peace. Jamie, I love you for what it's worth. You're, you seem like a cool guy. Let's get a cup of tea or, or a beer or whatever, a pint. Let's get a pint. Now, all right, this is a little harder because these are both really nice burgers. I think I know what I have to do. I got, I got to give second place to Gordy. This burger is top tier, top notch. Like I would be so stoked about this if I went to a restaurant and got this as a, um, is just like a regular old like steakhouse burger. It checks all the boxes. The onions are a nice touch. Of course we basted the patties in butter. Like how is that not going to be good? But I just, as far as the toppings go, I just, I really think that the butter lettuce, I really like shredded lettuce on my burger and the mixture of like the large tomato and the large onions and stuff, it seems like a little busy with the toppings and with a burger, I kind of like things a little more, a little more thin, which is um, exactly why first place goes to our boy, Guy. The reason I chose this burger, yes, it's the most involved. There's the most going on with it, right? We made an aioli, we made like a cheese sauce, but it's got the thin onions on it, right? It's got the thin shredded lettuce on it. It's got the thin tomato. Well, I mean, I could have sliced the tomato a little thinner, but you get the idea. And the pickles are really nice and it's just, it's saucy, it's cheesy, it's slightly smoky because of that smoked Gouda in that cheese sauce, the SMD sauce, <laughs> SMC sauce. It's a smash burger patty, but it's not too smashy. I mean, we went like a quarter inch thickness. It's not one of these like paper thin, super crispy smash burgers. It's almost somewhere in the middle of a steak and a smash burger, which I thought was very interesting. And it is the reason why I'm choosing this for my number one burger. So let's give it up for Guy. Guy, why don't you come on back? Congratulations on winning first, brother. The mayor of Flavortown does not disappoint. Put it here. 
You know the drill. If you like the video, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, you should subscribe and join the posse. Come parte. Uh, if you're already subscribed, welcome back, dog. Best way to support us is over on Patreon for like literally $5 a month. You get a whole bunch of extra stuff. A lot of fun stuff going on over there. Come say what up in the Discord and introduce yourself. Again, lots of competitions and fun stuff going on over there. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you this time. So until next time, peace.